Uh, thanks, Laura. I hope you can hear me, Mr Keating. Um, look, R Richard Miles, perhaps in anticipation of your comments today, uh, in defending the, yesterday's announcement, said, we have witnessed in our region the single biggest conventional military build-up anywhere in the world since the end of the Second World War. He says, to not respond to that is to be condemned by history. Could I just ask you to clarify, do you think we should not respond to it at all, or we're responding in the wrong way? We're responding in the wrong way. The Collins-class boat, which, 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 which uh, I built with Kim Beasley, was a boat designed in the defence of Australia. It was designed to protect present the continental, shore, the continental lands of Australia and to repel any invasion of us. What these, what these boats are, and this is what I don't think uh, uh, the Defence Minister is telling you, is that these boats are designed to sit off the continent, continental shelf of China and sink American nuclear-capable, nuclear weapons-capable submarines. Now, just, I'll just make this point to you. China's peripheral waters... Let's make this point that people may not know. About 100 miles off the Chinese coast, there's a plateau. It's a very shallow plateau, a very shallow plateau. Any, any American nuclear... nuclear-armed subs got to get across that plateau before they get to the deep water. So the Americans said, ah, we can have, like, ducks in a shooting gallery, we will shoot them out before they can get to the deep water. But... In, in the Chinese shallow water, the Chinese have it absolutely loaded with sensors and with equipment to detect large submarines. An 8,000-tonne submarine is going to be visible in a second for the Chinese coming across it. So our submarines are going to be susceptible. Our, our submarines are going to be um, uh, in the peripheral waters of China where the platforms and sensors are most concentrated. Right. So while the Americans think they can shoot Chinese submarines like duck in, ducks in a barrel, the Chinese can also shoot our submarines because we're in the shallow water and we are detectable. Right. So this is, a, this is a strange way to be defending Australia, to have your submarines sunk on the Chinese continental shelf, uh, chasing Chinese submarines, where, in fact, with the, with the uh, Collins model, you had, and if the numbers are right, 45 or 50 conventional submarines around the coast of Australia saying, put a step over our finger, we'll punch your lights out. That's the better defence policy for Australia than joining with the Americans up there in the shallow waters of the Chinese coast trying to knock out... See, look, you know this, Phil, you may know this. The Chinese in their... in their... the air-sea battle plan they had eight or ten years ago was whether they could knock out all the Chinese nuclear weapons in one strike. And people doubt that this can happen. You know, you can find the sites and knock them out. All states. So what, what's, what big states do is they have submarines in deep water that carry the same nuclear weapons that are not subject to a strike. It's called a second strike capability. What, what the Americans are trying to do is deny the Chinese a second strike, strike capability. And we'd be the mugs up there helping them, you know, We'll be up there saying, oh, no, we'll put our boats into jeopardy uh, in the shallow waters of China. Instead of... What, what is our aim in life? It is to protect the continent of Australia. Border with no one, shallow waters. We don't need 8,000-tonne submarines. Collins was four. We could have 50 Collins-class boats and 15 at sea, and we'd have a much stronger defence than this rubbish that the government's doing.